Gary Gross, and welcome once again to another episode of Flying Short, your business lessons in brief. And today we're going to talk a little bit about baseball and how it relates to business. Because basically, when you look at a baseball manager, he's got to manage, in this case, 25 people or more. And he's got to hit all their buttons, and he's got to motivate them, and he's got to get them to play their very best. Well, as a manager of a business, you're basically doing the same thing. So it's very interesting to watch baseball managers and how they approach things, because everyone has a different style. Now, for example, we take this year's Seattle Mariners. Okay? Last year we were not gangbusters, folks. We lost 91 games. This is not a great team. There is no particular reason, and there still isn't, for the most part, any particular reason to think we're going to do great this year. But they're off to a good start. They were 5-2, and two, and then they lost last night. Okay, they're 5-3. and three. I like that. It's way better than the 0-8 and eight I was predicting, because I'm kind of negative right now. But, why is that happening? When it's essentially the same team as last year for the most part. Well, the only thing I can point to right now, and yes, it's really early in the season and it doesn't mean that much, but it's very interesting to see what's happening because the, the players have a different attitude. And that all comes from the top. It's all coming top down. All right. And when you have a, a stern disciplinarian a my way or the highway, a micromanaging manager. Everybody's uptight. Everybody's nervous. This guy is a little bit different. Now you can go too far the other direction, but Lloyd McClendon, the new manager of the Mariners, has kind of got it on target, I think, right now. So, for example, what he's telling the players is, is just relax. Okay, Do what you got to do. So we got Abraham Almonte, a rookie out in center field. He's doing pretty well. He's leading off every single game. And he says, I feel so good about the way he's treated me. Early in spring, I didn't have really good games, but he gave me comfort and said, just do your best. Be you. Don't try to be somebody you're not. Just play the way you know how to play, and everything is going to be fine. Okay? Well, basically, he's, he's really building these guys up. And like, like Almonte said, I like the way he talks to the players. He makes you feel comfortable. And when you feel comfortable, it's a lot easier to do things. Well, no kidding, if you're really nervous, it's much easier to screw up. Don't make your employees nervous. Make them a little more comfortable. Make them believe in themselves. His mantra is, let your talent show. That's what he's saying to the employees, to the players. He says, whatever you think you can do, just do it. If you do it wrong and we don't like it, we'll let you know. Okay? But he doesn't say, hey, you've got to be that guy. You've got to be Willie Mays. He says, whatever your instincts are feeling, whatever things you can do, just do it. Let your talent show. It's an interesting business lesson. Something to think about. Not just on the baseball field, but in your office too. My name is Gary Bros. It's another episode of Flying Short, your business lessons in brief. And you were a, uh, a spectacular audience. I mean, there's no question. One of the greatest audiences of all time.